Hi and Assalamualaikum from Sekolah Menengah Sains Tengku Muhammad Faris Petra. Today, we're going to show you the main problem or issue that Malaysia is currently facing. A recent global trend is to use natural renewable energy and renewable resources that are beneficial in developing new materials. Thus, thermoplastic is being prepared to combine with various reinforcing fillers in order to improve material properties and obtain the characteristic demanded in actual application. Studies are ongoing to find ways to use fruit waste as another alternative synthetic fibers as reinforcing fillers. These waste yet natural fillers are especially being sought since the production of the composites using waste substance reinforcing fillers is cheap and able to minimize the environmental pollution caused by the biodegradable characteristic. Utilization of fruit waste such as langsat, watermelon, banana, mango, corncob and leaf as reinforcing fillers in polycaprolactone offered several benefits including making the final product light, strong, low cost, improved biodegradability and oil absorption and reduces from easily ripped off. Nowadays, the amount of plastic waste worldwide has tremendously increasing, making it obvious about 7 kg of fruit waste are generated every week at the school dining hall and 20% to 25% of them are banana peels and orange peels. Due to that, it brings a bunch of problems alongside the situation. First, buried plastic will drain out toxic chemicals and chemicals seep into the groundwater and flowing downstream into lakes and rivers. Second, broken down pieces of plastic like microplastic are absorbed by marine species and this will reduce their population. Next, as we know, the indefinite period of time taken for an average paper bag to be fully break down. This, our product will surely take less time as it use fruit waste. Lastly, polyethylene in plastic will release out toxic chemicals into the atmosphere when we burn them and this will cause air pollution. Biodegradable plastics are plastics that can be decomposed by the action of living organisms, usually bacteria. Two basic classes of biodegradable plastics exist. Bioplastics, whose components are derived from renewable raw materials and plastics made from petrochemicals containing biodegradable additives which enhance biodegradation. Bioplastics are plastics derived from renewable biomass sources such as vegetable fats and oil, cornstarch, straw, wood chips and food waste. Bioplastics can be made from agricultural byproduct and also from used plastic bottles and other containers using microorganisms. A solution to the problem, this product was designed to produce biodegradable plastic using fruit waste, which are particularly orange and banana peels mixed with polycaprolactone. Then it is to determine physical and chemical properties of the biocomposites and to identify the best potential of the fruit waste to be used as a fillers in PCL. Since only certain types of fruit waste have a good potential to be used as a fillers. In order to commercialize this product, it is a must to evaluate its commercial potential first in order to achieve its objective and find the best potential of fruit waste compared to the design, strength and oil absorption properties. So, how did we make this biodegradable plastic? In order to make biodegradable plastic out of fruit waste, we need to make a few preparations. First, materials needed for this product are PCL and fruit waste. As for the preparation of fruit waste, we need to collect the fruit waste, which is banana and orange peels, at the school dining hall. Then, we need to measure the wet weights of the fruit waste and then proceed to the drying process in order to obtain the dry weight too. It is to make sure 3, of, three over 4 of water content in the fruit waste has been dried. Then, blend the dried fruit waste uh, into a powdered form which can be stored. As 
for the preparation of moderate materials. Measure the weight of the dried fruit waste uh, together with the PCL and then melt the PCL at 80 degrees in 10 minutes. Uh, after that, mold the matte PCL with the dried fruit waste and then compress them until it turns flat. From that, uh, the final product can be cut and transformed into a various shape. As for the quality test, we conducted three tests which are all absorption tests, tensile tests and biodegradability tests. Results for each fruit waste and PCL composites were compared and evaluated. Thus, the results outcome showed the properties of each type of the fruit waste in all absorption, elasticity and strength. Based on the results and the graph shown, banana showed the highest percent of all absorbed with the highest all absorption property which is 0.63 plus minus 0.05 as compared to others due to larger size and amount of pores existed. Next, based on the graph, orange pills display the excellent mechanical and flexibility characteristics. It showed the higher performance in terms of tensile stress which is 11.32 plus minus 0.14 due to arrangement of its structure which are more compact and less voids. Then, from the graph shown, we can observe that orange pill results also higher in elastic properties which is 30.71% as compared to others. Why? It is because the texture of fibers which is more spongy and attached closely to the PCL. Moreover, all the results show the potential fruit waste can be used as the best reinforcing fillers in producing the biodegradable plastics with the highest rate of biodegradability. Hence, orange and banana peels are the best candidates to be employed as fillers compared to other fruit waste which are papaya, watermelon, mango and langsan. The question in everyone's mind now is can this product be commercialized? The answer is absolutely yes. It can become a potential income for fruit-based production industry as the fruit waste such as peels and seeds can be recreated these new biodegradable plastics. Then, the same capabilities as the well-known plastics give this product a new platform to dominate the world plastics market. Besides, it is a low-cost product with high biodegradable ability that the residues or toxics from the products are fully absent. After that, it could become the main choice for the green consumer such as the environmentalist and eco-friendly people. It is also can be used in a very far way from daily use plastics based items such as kitchen utensils to technology products that use plastics in their components such as food. Due to the result, biodegradable plastics is the best solution to overcome the worldwide problem by saving the world ecosystem with decreasing the amount of plastic waste. In addition, Utilizing our fruit waste for biodegradable plastics is an effective way to save the world from plastics problem. Local fruit have the potential to be as fillers in PCL composite compared to domestic fruit. Last but not least, this product which is biodegradable plastics can be commercialized well in the future as low cost, biodegradability products and absence of residue or toxic byproducts.